Hi, this is Ethan with Myself as My Cards, and I'm here to speak a little bit about losing tarot cards. That happened to me on Sunday. Uh, my dog found my favorite deck that I left out uh, in the wrong place, uh, practically inviting her to investigate them uh, outside. If, if it's on the low table outside, it's fair game. You know, I've lost glasses. I've lost, you know, half a book, um, a, a speaker, a, a Bluetooth speaker. This time it was my favorite tarot deck, and it was just my my fault. Um, so it's uh, it was a Pablo Robledo um, from last year. I've I've had it almost exactly a year, and uh, he it seems that he tends to uh, release decks somewhere around that. Uh, fall solstice and um you know I've, sh I've shuffled it thousands of times i've spent every day with it for like 51 weeks right and it quickly replaced the other cards that i was using um, i got down to the point where mostly uh i would use that as my tarot deck and um i have another uh, some playing cards that I would use uh, and I would just go back and forth between them and use them accordingly. So uh, I will miss this as a complete deck very much. The feel of it, the look of it, um, everything, everything about it. Um, and I'm going to, you know, I, I, I recognize that this is actually, it was an opportunity to uh, explore myself as I went through a, uh, maybe a phase of what I might call a minor loss or a minor, like a minor mourning almost, right? Uh, grieving a little bit. Uh, all of the stages were there, but just in a mild way, because after all, this is just a deck of cards, right? But it's not just a deck of cards. I bonded with this deck, and I explored some very cool things for myself and, and with other people uh, using this deck. So the challenge is to retain what I learned from it, carry that with me, um, and use that experience and knowledge and, and uh, the spirit of, of that those experiences into further readings with other tools. What it made me feel like was uh, like a writer who just lost several chapters of a of a, a book <laughs> I was writing uh, due to a data crash, or uh, or like I lost my wallet and somebody had stolen my identity, you know, their identity theft, and they're out there spending all my money. You know, it uh, felt akin to that. It really did, and um, I have to say also. Uh, at this time, I suppose all times in the world, there are losses happening every day. This is a, a difficult and unfortunate part of the opportunity of life and of, of having anything that you enjoy around is that there's a temporality to it, you know, tem a temporary. Um, and I'm, can, you know, textbook, you can study that all you want, but when you're in a situation where you've lost a friend, uh, a family member, um, and it's their time to go, a pet, it's a singular category of experience and, and a sequence of events that happen and takes a while to process these things. And um, the loss is related on all scales and so it's happening all all the time all around the world um you know but the, i noticed a theme throughout this week in california and the united states you know uh earlier this week i'm listening to uh the news and there's one account you know this 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 one guy that's being interviewed about the wildfires that are blazing through the apocalyptic skies for for two weeks and dangerous air quality and acres of land getting burned 
and he's talking about how he lost his house and everything is gone. You know, he's like, that means that everything's gone. You know, the, the pictures of your grandmother, he said. And um, that, was, that was the thing that he called out um, in his moment of trying to describe to us to get a sense of what his loss was. That was the item that he chose to uh, bring into the picture for us so that we understood. And that says something. Uh, so anyway, I knew it was possible, uh, especially after bonding with this deck, that I, I would look at it and I'd say, hey, man, I'm really starting to like this, this deck. It really feels great. It sounds great. It reads great. It does all the things that... You know, I feel like a, a better reader because of them and stuff like that. I had invested, and and I knew it. And so then, you say, "Wow, you know, there's there's that that feeling of, uh, uh, am I going to lose it?" And and you feel it around the bend, over the mountains, hopefully long down the road. I was hoping that I'd be able to keep it. I'm able to keep a lot of things very pristine and nice and uh, hardly used um, in some respects. I liken this to uh, an instrument, like say one of my guitars, which, you know, I, I have a tendency to keep my guitars very nice. Uh, it's almost kind of cool to get them beat up a little bit, some dings and some wear. And, um, you know, I, I've, I have a Stratocaster that I love that I've played for years and years and it's, uh, it's in great shape, <laughs> you know, no Stevie Ray Vaughan or Eric Clapton looking guitar there, you know? Uh, so I thought it might last. Um, but lo and behold, um, the, the Labrador that we share our life with, uh, decided to make a change on that one. Or actually, I decided to make the change, and the Labrador took me up on the offer. Um, so I'm better for having the experience of it being in my life, though, because it did uh, improve my my reading. And I'll transfer that over. Um, here's okay. So so I was left with 65 cards, and uh, so I had all of the aces. The rest of the the, the pips. Um, have some missing in each of the each category, each of the uh, quadrination. Um, and then the majors were mostly complete. I was missing one card, and it's temperance. So the angel of temperance was keep, was keeping me centered, and uh, you know, uh, working as an angel from within the belly of my dog. So. The mind, the uh, the majors, right? So I'll I'll use uh, the aces with majors for readings. I learned to do that because of the uh, rollashon that I have, and it actually works quite well. You know, you just uh, you have the one uh, it 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 you know the ace will land as its suit, but basically without um, qualification of of um, s s degree right? It's kind of the way I treat it. And in place of temperance, luckily I had this two of cups. And uh, so I will use the two of cups in, in place of temperance. I mean, you do have two cups. You have a water, you know, indication here. Uh, you, I can transfer that idea into it going both ways because that's, that's a key factor of the, um, of the temperance. Plus, you know, I know in my mind what that temperance card is. It's it's etched into my mind, and I can see it. Uh, I can feel it. Perhaps this will advance. You know, it's almost like this deck has matured into a more efficient uh, majors only kind of situation. And uh, you know, I I, I am reading Enrique Enriquez's um, uh, Invisible Tarot. And he employs some of those things, those those practices in that 
uh, book there uh, to the degree of not even using any tarot cards. So uh, it's interesting the time that it comes up, you know, uh, but I thought I'd address loss a little bit right there, particularly with, um, with, with tarot, of course, but, you know, we just lost Ruth Bader Ginsburg. There's always loss around it. We need to be sensitive of that. And perhaps I can use this deck, maybe. I will reach for it when there's a question about loss. Maybe this is the best deck now. Maybe it's specialized itself, made a statement about loss in my life, so that if there's a question about loss that needs to be addressed, I can get in that headspace and take it seriously with, with, um, with honor and respect. But there's a lot to consider and think about. I'm still processing that. I know it sounds silly to say that about some cards, but uh, then again, it, it's not. It's not just cards, you know. And so also that that brings up uh, to clear up some of these superstitious uh, things like, can I buy my own deck? Can I put them in a? Um, can I keep them in a metal container? Um, I've, I've heard lots of questions like that. Uh, and you know, the practical modern approach would be, yes, of course you can buy your own deck. Um, in this case, had I kept it in a metal container, it would have been, uh, better protected from my sacred beast. And I have a metal container that these cards fit exactly in. And I considered it at one point, um, Perhaps I need to keep a metal container out there to put my cards in when I'm staging them outside and maybe wanting to keep them outside. Uh, considerations, right? But the, uh, so the, the, the superstitious aspect of things, uh, you know, because I anticipated that around the corner and over the mountains, that there would be a time that they would be um, damaged or incomplete or lost. Am I predicting that scenario, uh, especially since it's tarot that we're talking about here, right? Uh, did, I, did I call it a, about just by having those thoughts and giving that any energy? You know, um, these are things we entertain and we think about. Um, but I think the answers are usually simpler than that, um, and still just as mysterious, where we will say, well, no, t uh, t uh, temporality is the nature of things. That's how I suspect, you know, and um, my relationship with those cards, it's going to be either me or them. <laughs> at some point, you know, at this, uh, and this turned out to be them, you know, and here I, and, and I'm the one that's left to have to grieve and pick up the pieces and figure it out, you know? And so all of this, of course, tarot is, uh, largely, uh, allegorical, if not completely like, like all art. And, uh, so the, the allegory is there for us to look at. Um, so when we ask, do we have, do, do, does this have a meaning? Does this have a purpose? What is the meaning of this? And, um, I do think that I am receiving a message of slow down, appreciate your stuff, keep track of it, keep your eye on things and, uh, keep your eye on the ball. Is the message I'm getting for myself from this from this lesson, and I'm thankful for that because if I can't learn that lesson through events like this, that's when I certainly will repeat them. Mm -hmm.